So today we're going to factor this trinomial. We have this trinomial here, 3x squared plus 2x minus 16. And um, while factoring this, I want to pay particular attention to uh, the analysis of positives and negatives and the analysis of even and odd numbers in our factoring. And uh, so let's just charge right into it. Uh, we have this trinomial that is a product of two binomials. So let me put my parentheses here where I'll put my two binomials. And uh, I know from experience that my first term of the trinomial is the product of my first two terms. And really the only way I'm going to get 3x squared is by having 3x in one of them and x in the other. Okay? And I also know that the uh, last term of my trinomial is the product of my last terms in my binomials. Now this is the one that I want to pay particular attention to because what we have here is a negative product. Now how does one get a negative product? There's really only one way and that is positive number times negative number. Because if you think about it, a positive times a positive gives a positive product. A negative times a negative gives a positive product. So the only way that we're going to get a negative product is that if one of our numbers is uh, positive and one is negative. Uh, so right now, I'm just going to say, well, let me say that this one's positive and this one's negative. We may need to change that later on, but for right now, we'll just say, we'll, we'll assume that this is true. If we do need to change it, that'll become obvious to us. Okay? Uh, now, what are the possible factors of 16? Well, we have uh, 1 times 16. We have 2 times 8. And we have 4 times 4. Okay? Now, what we want to do is, we're going to take the product of these outside terms and the product of these inside terms. And we're going to add these products. And that's what's going to get us our middle term here, positive 2x. So now I think it's time to look at uh, our analysis of odd and even numbers. Please note that 3x and x, that's 3x and 1x. Those are both odd numbers, right? Uh, over here, we have odd times even, even times even, and even times even. Now, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add two products to get an even number. So maybe for maybe maybe just for a second, we need to look at uh, what happens when you add odd and even numbers. What do you get? Let's just look for a second at what happens when we add up even and odd numbers, or when we multiply even and odd numbers. If we take an even number and we add an even number, for example, 2 plus 4, we get 6, another even number. Okay? So even plus even just gets you another even number. Odd plus odd, let's say 5 plus 3, 5 plus 3 gets us 8, an even number. 11 plus 7, 11 plus 7 gets us 18, an even number. So whenever we add an even plus an even, we get an even. When we add an odd plus an odd, we get an even. So that tells us when, whenever you add two numbers that have the same even-odd status, you get even. The only time that you can add two numbers together to get an odd, that you can add two integers together and get an odd answer is when you add odd plus even. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Now let's think about the products. Even times even, even. Even times odd, even. Just think to yourself, 2 times any number is going to get you an even answer. So even times anything gets you even. The only time you can multiply two numbers together and get an odd answer, two integers together and get an odd answer, is if you, if you multiply odd times odd. For example, 3 times 5 gets you 15, odd answer. 7 times 9 gets you 63, odd product. Okay. So the only time you can multiply numbers together and get an odd product is odd times odd.
the only time you can add numbers together and get an odd sum is odd plus even. So, we want to add two numbers to get an even number. As we said before, really the only way that that's going to happen is if we add odd plus odd to get even, or even plus even to get even. Okay? Now, there's an even number in here in all of our sets of factors, which means one of our products is going to be even. So we're not going to get odd plus odd. Uh, with this scenario, 16 and 1, whether I put the 1 here, that would give me an odd product here, or if I put the 1 here, that would give me an odd product here. I'd be adding odd plus even, which is not going to give me 2. Therefore, I know right off the bat, not one of my possibilities. So the other possibilities are going to be 2 and 8, or 4 and 4. Uh, well, let's just try one of them. Uh, let's try, let's give 4 and 4 a shot. 3x plus 4 times x minus 4. 4 times x is 4x. 3x times negative 4 is negative 12x. And 4x minus 12x does not get us 2x. So that's not going to work either. Alright? So 4 and 4 didn't work. Let's try 2 and 8. Uh, let me kill that one. And uh, let's put my 8 here and my 2 here. And what I get is 3x times negative 2, which is negative 6x. And 8 times x, which is 8x. And 8x minus 6x gets me 2x, which is exactly what I was looking for. So this is my answer. Now, what if... I had put my plus and my minus in the wrong place. Let's just look at that for a second. What if I had positive 2 and negative 8 here? Then what I would have seen is I would have seen negative 8x and positive 6x, which would have gotten me a negative 2x. In other words, it would have gotten me the right number but the wrong sign. Whenever you see the right number but the wrong sign, you just change your... you change the... Uh, uh, the pluses and minuses within your binomials. So, that gets us back to where we want to be. And there's our answer.